Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Math 30-1, Chapter 6, Section 4, Graphing Trig Functions, Part 2. Now, in Part 1, we graphed a sine graph. Now, here we're going to do the same thing for a cosine graph. Notice the angle theta is in radians, and I'm looking for the cosine. So, I have trouble with this, so I turn pi over 6 into all the radians into degrees. If you have trouble with that, then grab your calculator, pause the recording, and do it. This, we did last class. This will be 30. Oh, you poopy head. <sighs> Computers. 30, 45, 60, 90, 120, 135, 150, 180 degrees. Now, I've done enough of them that I happen to know those are the answers. And I happen to remember what I did in the first part. Now, if you have any trouble with that, go to 6.3 radian measure and look at the handout to the third page, or do the conversions. Pi over 6 times 180 divided by pi is 30. Anyway, now, using the left-hand rule, or the left-hand sheet, this is 1, uh, 30, oh, sorry, 3 over 2, we're at 2 over 2, 1 over 2, 0. So far, so good. Now, going into the second quadrant, 120 is like that. Remember, cosine is x over r. So this is the same as 60 degrees, except x is negative. So this is minus 1 half, minus root 2 over 2, minus root 3 over 2, and minus 1. Okay, that I expect you to be able to do fairly quickly. If you're having trouble with it, pause the recording, think about it, go back. 6.3 is radian, 6.1 uh, is the angles. Now, here, putting these points on the graph. Now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I went through this a little too quickly in the first video, and I apologize. Each one of these lines is um, 1 12th pi. Okay? So pi over 6, or 2 pi over 12, is here. Okay? 3 pi over 12, or pi over 4, is here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is pi over two. So here we go zero. Uh, what was it? Root three over two, sorry, brain fart. So root three over two is about 0 0.866, 75, something like that. Pi over four is root 2 over 2, which is something like 0 0.707, something like that. Pi over 3 is a half. Pi over 2 is 0. So, not the best, but we get a curved line like that. Or something like that down. Okay. Now, 2 pi over 3, going back up here. 2 pi over 3 is minus a half. 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 6. So, Taking my time, because I realized I was a little fast. So 2 pi over 3 is a half, minus a half. This will be 5 pi over 6. This will be 3 pi over 4. That's 0 0.7, 0 0.866, and that is 1. So this, oh, not the best, but it curves like this. Something like that. And that is half of a cosine graph. Now, honestly, at this point, you should have graphed the darn thing on your graphing calculator to know what it actually looks like. And, of course, put your calculator into radian mode. Now, 7 pi over 6. We're down here in the third quadrant. So that's down here 210 degrees. Uh, 
oh, sorry, the reference angle will be 30. Sine of 30 is root 3 over 2. But since it's x, this is negative root 3 over 2. 5 pi over 4, that is here, which is 2, 225, sorry. The reference angle is 45 degrees, so that's minus root 2 over 2 because we're negative. 4 pi over 3, that's uh, 240. Now that's a reference angle of 60 degrees. 3 pi over 2 is 270 degrees. It's going to be 90, the reference angle 90, except it's minus 1. Sorry, no. Sorry, why am I smoking? 90 is 0, forgive me. I hate this getting old. Left hand, right hand, one of those. Fuck. Anyway. 7 pi over 6, that would be there, 7 pi over 6, should be minus root 3 over 2, or 0.86, you know, something like here. 4 pi over 3 is minus a half, halfway in between is 5 pi over 4, and that's 0.7, something like that. So it curves up like this. Now 3 pi over 2, or uh, 18 pi over 6 will be right there. So try to draw a smooth curve like that. And I want you to realize here 2 pi, we're going to go like that. So I'm willing to bet 5 pi over 3 is right about there. 0.707, no, sorry, pi pi, oh, sorry, that would be a half, wouldn't it? Get ahead of myself. Okay, all right, don't erase. You, you wombat. Be a half, something like that. There we go. That's helped to actually remember, or at least see the pattern. And note, once again, left hand, all you have to do is for 0 to 90, and then repeat the pattern. So as long as you know what's going on, what quadrant you're in. All right? So I expect you to be able to do that and spit out these numbers pretty quickly. So here, domain, uh, 0 to 2 pi, or... 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 2 pi. The range, minus 1 to 1. 1 minus 1 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 1. Now, and the intercepts. Here, you notice here, pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. And don't forget the y-intercept. y equals 1. Sneaky. So y-intercept, equals 1, x-intercepts, pi over 2, 3 pi over 2. So far so good? I'd like to think I didn't, I'll explain that a little less bad. So domain range intercepts. Okay? This you got to know. It's not a conversation. Now, what happens if I didn't tell you? I didn't say it. If I said just draw the graph. Well, then, the domain would be x is all real. x is an int. It's all real. x is an integer. How would I write that? It's like brain fart. Now I just write x is in, no, sorry, x is not real, sorry, getting ahead of myself, stop that. And we continue here, minus 1 to 1 for the range. Now the intercepts, y-intercept, 
one. But we would have to come up with a general formula for the, for the x-intercepts. That would be pi over 2 plus n pi. n is an integer, and I'll use that fancy z just to confuse you. Okay? Now, that's what I expect you to be able to do. Now, this video is getting kind of long. I'm going to stop here. I want you guys to review this, think about it, and then we're going to go on to the next question for tangent.